former Trump national security advisor Mike Flynn is still doing these right wing events and saying the quiet parts out loud, including what he really believes America should turn into a theocracy. Let's watch. And they're talking about the United States of America, talking about the United States of America, because when Matthew mentioned it in the Bible, he wasn't talking about the physical ground that he was on. He was talking about something in the distance. So if we are going to have one nation under God, which we must, we have to have one religion, one, one, one nation under God and one religion under God. Oh, that's fascinating. So how exactly would that work out? Um, number one, it's unconstitutional. So clearly this man doesn't value our constitution or what America is supposed to stand for. So for all of the uh, alleged patriotism that takes place on the right wing, it is fascinating to hear him just clearly state that he does not believe in separation of church and state and that our government should uh, force one religion upon all of us. And what would that religion be exactly? Would it be Judaism? Would it be Islam? Of course, of course, it would not be those things. It would be Christianity. And I'm curious what all those who bought into the Judeo Christian values argument feel after listening to that, to that clip. It's amazing because I just did an interview with a professor at Brown University who wrote a book about this. You guys are going to get to see that soon on the conversation. Check that out at 5 30 p.m. Eastern every day right here. So, the thing that we talked about. And I said it, and then he said, "Oh, John Locke said the same thing." I was like, "Oh, pretty good, okay." Which is, if we're going to pick a religion, which one? And not just Judaism or or Christianity or Islam, which sect, mm. right? So, mm. so in Christianity, is it going to be the Pentecostals, the Seventh Day Adventists? Are they really Christians? I don't know. You guys get into all those debates all the time. The Mormons, the Pentec- uh, the Lutherans, the Methodists. Which one are we going to pick? Okay. And by the way. Or what we could do is we could put it like we put it in a mug or something, and then pick it pick it out of a mug. We'll do like a oh, raffles type yeah. situation. Yeah. Oh, it turns out it's the Pentecostals. Everybody grab a snake, and everybody start talking in tongues. Is the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster a contender? Oh, by the way, they really believe that the Satanist Church is a real church, right? <laughs> They're actually worried about it. They think like, oh, Bill's above and all that nonsense, right? And you know, and Voldemort or whatever else they believe in, right? Okay, so do we have to, if you think it's a real religion, do we have to put Satanists in there? What if the Satanists win? Right? No. But I mean, we have to be guided by one religion and one, and, and, and all the different sects of Christianity totally disagree, right? Catholic, Protestant, which one is it gonna be? So, of course, it's absurd. And that's why the founding fathers set up a secular country. They were super clear. That's what I talked to the professor about. James Madison is the author of the Constitution, and he said a thousand times over, including in the Constitution. That we shall not establish a religion. So when you see some people like Mike Flynn saying that, and then they claim to be patriots, understand it's actually the exact opposite. They're saying I'm a patriot for white people, or I'm a patriot for fundamentalist Christianity, but they are not patriots for America. That is the exact opposite. America was formed very specifically not to be ruled by a religion, because the founding fathers saw that nations that were ruled by religions cause disaster, both for the state and for the religion, right? And so he hates America. He hates the idea that we are not ruled by one religion, that Muslims, Jews, Buddhists, Seventh day Adventists, everybody, Pentecostals, Lutherans can all be part of America. And we could all have exercise, free exercise of religion and we'll not establish one and there'll be no religious test. It's all in the Constitution. But he hates this country, and right wingers like him are the least patriotic people. They're traitors to the idea of America. And every time you see them, you should say so. And everyone in the media, if they were honest, would say these are the most un-American people we have ever seen. Also, I mean, it is fascinating to see them call for, honestly, a much bigger government involvement in our lives, because it would be the government using force. Uh, to have us believe in their form of religion. That's what that is. Yeah. I, th- so, you know what that's very, very similar to? No joke. It's similar to the Taliban. The Taliban says if there should be no separation of mosque and state. We, this, the, our religion, one religion, should rule everyone else. That's the same exact thing Mike Flynn says. Now, separation of church and state, not really into that, but. Uh, 
people like Mike Flynn love to cherry pick parts of the Constitution when it is favorable to any given issue that they're talking about. In this case, it has to do with Steve Bannon, who of course has been indicted by the Justice Department for completely ignoring subpoenas in the investigations of January 6th. And so all of a sudden, Mike Flynn cares a lot about the Constitution and freedom of speech. Let's listen. I just did a, a, a media hit with Tucker Carlson for his show this evening. And, and my message, my message, we talked about, you know, this nonsense going on with what I call the, uh, the insurrection crucifixion and, and, uh, and Nancy Pelosi is the Pontius Pilate. She's the Pontius Pilate. And this is a crucifixion of our First Amendment, freedom to speak, freedom to peaceably assemble. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. In 40, in fact, it's been over 40 years, over 40 years, we've never had one person, not one person, uh, held in contempt or indicted for contempt of Congress in over 40 years to include a former Attorney General of the United States by the name of Eric Holder. And of course, today, if you saw, if you're watching the media, Steve Bannon was uh, indicted today for freedom of speech, basically, for an abuse of freedom of speech. So freedom of speech, very important um, part of the Constitution that he will cite when it's relevant or convenient for his own political purposes. So 140 cops were hurt and, and some died in on January 6th. They are doing an investigation of that and, and they're using the subpoenas for that investigation. If you believe in Mike Flynn's logic, anytime cops are hurt or really anybody's hurt and you go to court and you say, well, okay, I wanna subpoena your documents to see how you hurt the cops or how you hurt your neighbor, etc. Flynn says, no, freedom of speech. I don't have to give you uh, the information that the court seeks. You go ahead and prove it uh, uh, without any evidence. Because I don't have to give you the evidence. Well, that's not how our system works. That's not how our justice system is built. So, but he knows his audience is not that bright. So he just has to throw out a talking point. Freedom of speech means you don't have to listen to any subpoenas. No, it doesn't. It's never meant that. That's not our system of government or or courts at all. And you don't even believe in the First Amendment. You just told us like a minute ago. You told us. That you didn't believe in the First Amendment when you said there should be one religion. The First Amendment says we shall not establish a religion. Now you turn around and go, I get to break the law because freedom of speech. And a bunch of traitors in there applaud, oh, America sucks. Yeah, don't apply the law. The law sucks. Rule of law sucks. Oh, the Constitution sucks. That's what they all believe in there. They're all traitors. I mean, Michael Flynn has been on the record as a traitor because he was asked a very specific question about what should be done in response to Trump losing the election and get a load of how he reacts to it. I'm a simple Marine. I want to know why what happened in Minamar can't happen here. You know, yeah. No reason. I mean, it, it should happen. No reason. Right? That's right. Let's come back. All right, guys. So there, the guy asked about Myanmar. There was a coup in Myanmar. It's amazing how many people in that room know. So this has got to be going around in right wing circles, like, oh, doing a military coup against the government is awesome. They did it in Myanmar and they got away with it. And so the guy says, ah, what happened in Myanmar, right? And and uh, Flynn says, yeah, well, that, there's no reason why we shouldn't do that. Just, I don't know. Democracy is the reason we shouldn't do that. The United States Constitution is the reason we shouldn't do that. America is the reason we shouldn't do that. And these guys, at the drop of a hat, they're like, I just do a military coup. Who cares about democracy? Let's just burn the Constitution, establish one religion. Like Taliban's got it figured out great. Saudi Arabia, Iran, they all have it figured out just right. Have one religion that oppresses everyone else. Oh, We were kidding about Judeo Christian. No, 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 the Jews, it will not be their religion. We will stomp on them as well as everyone else. And how are we gonna do it? Military coup, just like in Myanmar. These guys are literal traitors to the idea of America and to the actual country of America. Flynn took that idea, went to the White House in after Trump had lost and he was considering his options. They had a three hour debate about whether to do a coup. Flynn said yes and almost convinced Trump. Everyone else in the room to their credit said that they would resign if Trump authorized a military coup. And so Trump didn't do it, but we were that close. 
because the right wing is filled with traitors. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.